Hello guys, welcome to my review for Spider-Man Far From Home. I finally get another reason to wear this mask in a review, even though I wear it in all my reviews. Still, let's talk about Spider-Man Far From Home, the 23rd movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, taking place after the events of Avengers Endgame. And uh, I was hesitant about this film. I was excited, of course, but I didn't know if we needed another film after Avengers Endgame in this franchise. And thankfully, I was proven very, 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 very wrong because this was an absolute blast this is fantastic in every way you want it to be this made me really really happy as a spider-man fan i think i like this movie more than homecoming there are some things homecoming does better but oh my god spider-man far from home was a blast this film was really entertaining in every single scene there is not one scene that felt out of place this film is perfectly paced this film is fantastic let's get into it first off peter park had a great arc here i love tom holland as this character and I really loved the direction they took this character. They changed a lot about his character. And I really, really loved how they took his character in this movie. It made me very pleased and satisfied. I love the relationships he had with all the characters. I loved him going on his trip. And seeing him with all these situations that keeps happening to him. Kept the film really entertaining in smaller scenes. And the film's pacing was pretty much perfect. There wasn't a single issue I had with the pace of this movie. Every single scene felt so fresh and unique. And... They did a lot of new things with the character that I really, really love seeing. And they put Peter Parker himself in a lot of great situations. There's a, a, quite a few scenes where he has to do Spider-Man stuff without wearing a suit. And that was really, really entertaining. We also get introduced to some new characters in this film. And one of them, of course, is the famous Mysterio. This is a character I've wanted to see uh, ever since the Amazing Spider-Man films came out. I wanted to see him Mysterio put to live action. And when I heard Mysterio was going to be in this film, I was extremely excited. And I'm very happy to say he is fantastic. Jake Gyllenhaal was amazing. I'm not going to spoil anything about his character. But the direction they take was very surprising to me. Also, other characters such as Nick Fury got a great time to shine. The relationship Peter has with MJ I thought was great. I really liked the direction they took those characters. And also Happy Hogan and Aunt May was fantastic in the movie. This movie is just full of really, really fun and lively and entertaining characters. And this movie is consistently hilarious. This film is really, really funny. But it doesn't outweigh the emotional moments. There are still emotional moments there. They got me really caring about this character. They got me really thinking about the direction they're going to take this character. And there was a really nice theme to it all that I really, really enjoyed. But I must admit, there were moments where I just couldn't stop busting out with laughing. So funny. There's a moment, don't want to spoil it. Um, but, oh my, I, I could not stop. Uh, after the scene was finished, for another, like, five minutes afterwards, I was still thinking about the scene and laughing at it. It was absolutely hilarious. I want to talk more in a spoiler review. I'll definitely do one of those, because there's a lot of things to spoil. This movie is not safe. My biggest issue with Spider-Man Homecoming was, that was a safe, fun Spider-Man film, and I really, really enjoyed it. it revitalized the character, but they, this movie took a lot of risks. This movie made me surprised in every single way. Me thinking it was going to be another safe Spider-Man fun film, which I was very, very fun with. But this is better than Homecoming because it takes a lot of risks with its characters. It does a lot of things that are completely surprising and absolutely insane. And there's some things that I was just completely shocked by that affects your mind. There's so many twists and turns in this movie that completely, like, blew my mind. It was insane. This film was really fantastic. Uh, I really, really love most of what they gave me. The special effects here were beautiful. The CGI for Mysterio and the Elemental Beasts was amazing. The action sequences as well were amazing. Another issue I had with Spawn Homecoming was there was a lack of fantastic action sequences. But this movie, man, the action is colourful. It's really well shot. It's amazing. The CGI is absolutely beautiful. There's some fantastic action scenes in this movie. And all of them felt more urgent. All of them felt like there was something else going on in these action scenes um, and all the situations that the characters have. There was something really, really urgent and exciting about these action scenes. And also the film was really colourful and vibrant with all these different locations we got to see that we haven't seen in the MCU yet. And that's something I really, really, really appreciated about the majority of this film. It felt fresh. It had a new feel to it. I didn't feel like another Spider-Man film. It felt really, really fresh and unique. And as a superhero film, it does follow a certain formula. S superhero films 
uh, tend to follow. It has some elements of other movies that are weaker. I have a few nitpicks with the film. The musical score, even though it was great, some great new themes in this movie, it wasn't as impactful as I wanted it to be in the scenes. And I had a few little nitpicks here and there. But overall, I thought this movie was absolutely a blast. The pace was perfect. I can't really get into many elements of the plot here because they're all spoilery. And I was really, really excited to see what they'd went with certain elements. I was engaged in nearly every single scene. I loved most things that this movie gave me. This film was really, really great. Um, I really, really loved it. Besides some small issues, I had a blast with this one. This is a really fun Spider-Man film that knows exactly what it is. It's absolutely hilarious. When it hits on the emotional beats, it does. And the film sort of makes fun of all the other MCU movies. It makes it adds to those films a lot. And I think this was the perfect conclusion to this phase of the MCU. And I have no clue where they're out, so they're going to go with this character. I honestly have no clue. I have no idea what else they're going to do in future Spider-Man films, in the future of the MCU, because this film really rounds it off. Like... I thought Endgame was the perfect ending, then this comes out and this is the perfect ending. I have no clue where they're going to go, but this definitely finishes off an era of the MCU, and I can't wait to see where they go in the next phases, because I'm really, really excited to see how they take this character in the future, because I have no idea where they're going to take this character in the future. And that was one of the best things about Far From Home, was how it all concluded, how much fun I had by watching it. There were some scenes that looked visually incredible, um... And there were some scenes that really, really surprised me and shocked me. But there were many really heartwarming moments. There were many really funny moments. And I had a blast with this movie, as I've said so many times. I loved it. I thought it was great. Besides some little issues, I really think I loved everything about this film. And I cannot wait to experience it again. This is a really, 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 really good Spider-Man movie. Definitely, definitely check this out. There are also two end credit scenes. Do not miss them. They are both fantastic. Two of the best end credit scenes in the entire of the MCU. Guys, please go see Spider-Man Far From Home. You'll have a fantastic time. I'm gonna give Spider-Man Far From Home an A. I'm also gonna give this movie a 9 out of 10. Guys, thank you for watching my review. I really do appreciate it. I have loads more reviews on my letterboxd. I'll put a link in the description below. But of course, thank you for watching and goodbye.